This is the side panel off of my computer case, and today I'm going to be adding a second fan to the side of it. This used to be a fan slot, and uh, then when I got a new processor and a new processor heat sink, the placement of this didn't really agree with my heat sink for my processor. So I plugged this up and I cut a new slot to add a fan in here. I've been running a fan in the slot for quite a while and I've been pretty happy with the performance, so I thought it'd be cool if I put another fan right beside it to just increase airflow. And uh, because I've increased airflow, which I really don't need, I can actually add a second fan and then slow both these fans so they're only spinning half as fast, which will reduce the noise of my computer, which is what I need right now because my computer makes a lot of noise as it is. Uh, so, basically, to start, you'll need one of these filters. You can buy these off eBay for like $4, you know, any style will work. I like these plastic mesh filters because they're a lot easier to clean than carbon filters because uh, you can just blow them out from the back. Plus, they also never wear out. And, uh, you know, honestly, for a computer case, you, you only need to stop dust. It doesn't matter how purified the air going into your case is. Uh, and you'll also need some sort of computer fan. You know, I'd recommend, obviously, stick with a 120 millimeter fan because they're just the easiest to come by and the bigger the better when it comes to computer case cooling fans. And this one, again, eBay for about $6. Now, I'm also using zip ties to hold, hold everything together because the screws that come with fans generally aren't long enough to go through a filter, your computer case, and dig themselves deeply enough into the uh, fan plastic to hold the fan in place. So anyways, to start here, find a place on your case which will work. Uh, you will need to check the components in your computer case because some video cards with big coolers and stuff might stick out a little bit too far, so just uh, uh, hunt around a little bit and find a place on the side of your case which will work. And uh, this one here, coincidentally, it seems like it'll work just fine, so I'll have this nice sort of side-by-side -side arrangement. And I've just positioned it right here, so it's obviously square with the case, you don't want it to be crooked. And then mark it out with a sharpie, right? And then I've taken this ruler and just moved these lines about a quarter inch inwards and made additional lines. And this just gives me a good metal lip so that the uh, filter will cover up the entire hole and there's not going to be any gaps around the edge. And then I've also just kind of marked off these little sections here so I have room to drill some holes for the zip ties to go through. So this is the area, area I'm going to cut out. Now to cut it out, I found this. these rotor, rotary tools are the uh, weapon of choice and they're the only thing i found that really cuts these out nicely. You will go through, you know, at least two or three of these grinding discs, but, uh, you know, it's not a big deal. So just grind them out and uh, that's about all there is to it. So I'll be back when the thing's cut out and I'll show you how to assemble it all. I finished cutting out my uh, fan openings, and it's not perfect, as you can see right there and up here, but it's good enough as long as you have an opening for the fan to pull air in through, and the filter covers, covers it up completely, and there's sort of these hole-shaped things to guide the zip ties in place with. Uh, that should be good enough. And I would also advise just taking some soapy water and wiping down this entire like panel here, just to make sure you don't have any metal filings or anything, because you don't want those getting mixed up with your computer components, because it wouldn't be very good. Uh, so, essentially, we're just going to go ahead and uh, zip tie the fan and the filter together, which will sort of hug them against the case and hold everything together. I just want to talk quickly about how I'm going to wire these fans up, because uh, normally you could just plug them end to end, and that would essentially hook them up in parallel. Uh, but because I want to slow my fans down, as I mentioned earlier, what I'm going to do is, uh, you notice this red wire connects into the yellow wire here, and what I've actually done is I've swapped the red and the yellow wires, just change positions because if this is the plug that I'm plugging the fans into uh, the yellow wire is 12 volts the red wire is 5 volts so by swapping these around now my fan connects into essentially the red wire on my computer power supply which is just 5 volts so it will be slower and uh, this fan here I've just basically from another project I had I put uh, uh, little bullet connectors on the end that happen to plug directly into these things really nicely so I'll just hook the red one into the yellow wire, and remember this yellow wire essentially will plug into the red one, so it's more like a red wire, and just plug that one directly into the negative side. 
And obviously make sure your fan is oriented the right way. You want it oriented like this so it's pulling air down through the filter into your case. That's about all there is to it. Time to uh, stick it back on my computer and see how it works. Well, there it is all back together. It's working fine and it's been working good for about three days now. Uh, the fans are spinning nice and slowly, but it's pulling more than enough air into the case and the computer is much quieter than before. So uh, yeah, anyways, if you decide to do this, uh, good luck and thanks for watching.